This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbilmec, a bit of planner, Camp Power and Bill Component. Yo, what's up? We are now at Fredrikstad today and we are here with Marcus Biel. Uh, he is a boat enthusiast. So uh, he was like, oh, you're going to check this out. So we're going to check out more boats. Well, actually, it's um, electric propulsion for boats. So uh, electric outboard. So we're going to go and check it out over here. So Marcus will just be in the background. So yeah, let's uh, see. It's that the white boat over there. Yes. Let's have a look at the white boat. So we have, well, it's Tohatsu, that's the, the, the manufacturer. Eh? Tohatsu is the manufacturer, it's a Japanese manufacturer. And uh, this is their first uh, electric uh, outboard engine, which is uh, 6 kilowatt, which is 6,000 watt. And then uh, where is the, uh, the battery located? The battery is under here. Oh, oh is it lithium? Uh -huh. It's a lithium battery. Uh, and it's uh, 100 uh, ampere hour, so uh, you can drive for a while with this battery. I see it's, uh, it's actually LFP battery. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, because of, um, that's because of the fire dangerous with the lithium battery, the lithium ion. So this is not a battery that uh, can put itself on fire. You mm -hmm. actually need to, to take gasoline on the battery and put it on fire. <laughs> So yeah, and then and it, this has also been connected to uh, where, the screen here, or so, how is yes. that? Yes, uh -huh. and the screen, the control, and the engine is a complete module delivered by Toatsu. Okay. And the battery is delivered by Scanbat. So is, is that, uh, what, sounds Scandinavian? Or? <laughs> it's a Scandinavian uh, company that delivers battery. Okay, well, so this is, this is the whole uh, system here, everything actually looks quite compact. Yes, I like it is. Yeah. It's a very compact engine. And actually, the engine is in the water. We can have a look. But can you raise? Oh, oh, oh. So it still so, has the... Oh. So under the, um, the hood is only, uh, under, under the cover, is only electronics. So what we see is that the engine is connected directly to the propeller. Well, is the motor down there? Yeah, the motor is uh, oh. on the propeller shaft. So it's like a, they call it like a pod, pod motor or something. Yeah. Yeah. But then, well, that's, that's always a challenge when you have the motor in there. To, you, you can like, you, you have to have it completely sealed. Yeah. Yeah. It's completely sealed and it's also um, cooled by the water. So they call it active cooling. So no cooling system is needed. Wow, this is... Uh, Actually, similar to what I've seen, and uh, you, you know, Candela. No. Okay. Yeah, the Swedish. Uh, yeah, they also have something similar. Yes. Wow, but this this actually sounds promising because if you don't have a shaft, it's just cables, here, right? Yeah. Just yeah. cables. So no mechanical shaft down there. That means that this should be quiet. Yeah. Can't wait to test it. Yeah. And uh, this very small maintenance needed for this engine is uh, it's only a few points every year to check the anodes and nothing more. Right now, uh, Marcus is taking over. Yeah, that, that's quiet. I remember when we tried something with a conventional shaft, it was noisy. You heard, uh, actually, it was mostly just the, the drive shaft. But here it's really quiet. And then we're doing around four knots. So you can see here, there's some stalis over here. We have state of charge here. And then maybe, uh, Marcus, you know, who would buy anything like this? Because it's, it's not cheap. No, it's uh, where, um, uh, like uh, some of the lakes in Norway, uh, from next year, it needs to be uh, electric because petrol is banned. So, so this is uh, where and we have a lot of torque here, so it's like... Uh... Whoa. But, okay, so 6 kilowatt doesn't sound like a lot. It's roughly 10 horsepower. But I mean, can you... Can you sh well, are we allowed to use the 6 kilowatt here in the, in the yeah. area? But it's barely legal. Okay, but, well, but that's your middle name also. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is... Uh... Well, like now, when we're cruising at 5 knots, how many kilowatt are we using, roughly? Uh, 
Okay, now, now we see some stuff here. Uh, state of charge, okay. Torque, motor temp, MOSFET temp, right there. Throttle. Okay, and then what if we increase the throttle a bit and see what happens then? Uh, here, right? I can try to do this. Huh. This is neat. Okay, sorry, it's a bit uh, hard uh, light conditions here and so on. But, uh, yeah, Marcus has the wheel now, so we can just see what's going on. So, there's some stats going on here. Okay, nice. And then if you go back here, if you go back to the main screen again here, see that we are doing five knots and this is usually what, what people want to do. They're just going to cruise around. It's not going to some uh, oil rig with this, you know. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see the screen, but you see it was in eco mode. I'm going to put it in sport mode. We're going to try full power now. Okay, let's see. And then I had to go back here. Also, how many knots can we go in? In sport mode, there you go. Full power. Oh, the, the boat lifts. Six knots. Okay, maybe not the most efficient thing going on here, but I mean, this is still okay speed. Yes, yes. Things shakes, everything shakes here in full sport mode. Okay, let's uh, kick back here. You just want to cruise, go back here, and then um, this screen is kind of small. And there, okay. Wait, I think I kick, kick down too much. Okay, so maybe you need to. Oh, it I, I, I seems like it went out of sport mode by itself. But are we stalled now? Oh. No, no, it just uh, oh. is a little bit uh, lag from the oh. handle to the there. So. Okay. Well, okay, seems like it's not that hard. I could almost drive this boat myself if I have a couple of hours of lessons. Okay, now I'm on the very front of the boat. I'm gonna do the, see here? I'm gonna do the Titanic thing. I just, I just need the Marcus to hold behind me. <laughs> but uh, Marcus, you know, you also mentioned that companies are interested in this electric propulsion. Uh, one more time. Companies. Companies? Yeah, companies. They also want electric, right? Yeah, this uh, for uh, less uh, maintenance. And if they get out, like a um, contract for the government, so the government uh, sees that uh, the needs to be electric, like uh, in the buildings uh, inside Oslo now, so that you need to use the electric uh, machines. And even if you're going to clean some uh, rivers or some from, um, uh, then the government can say to the contract that you need to do the work with electric uh, boats. Mm, yeah, it yeah, makes sense. I've seen it in Oslo that uh, construction sites now, they are more and more electric, fully electric uh, ex excavators and so on. So, so last day I was out with my son Henry and we were fishing. And then I was missing it's not uh, electric and then I don't uh, I just need to go in three knots and then it needs to be silence. So now you also can feel the it's just this uh, nice cruising. Talk. Yeah. Because, uh, if it's too noisy you scare the fish, right? Yeah but and uh, But now you can just sneak on the fish like a ninja. <laughs> it won't hear you coming. So this is uh, now with three knots. This is nice and chill, you know. If it was a bit sunnier, yeah, we had some drinks here, maybe some snack. We could just float around here and uh, coast. Well, how is this thing charged? Does it have? Does it come with an onboard charger? Or do you need the uh, charging? Yeah, how, you how have is it like charged? A a uh, regular uh, battery charger okay. because uh, the, the thing with this uh, Tohatsu engine that you can choose your own batteries because ah. lots of other brands that you need to have the battery from the engine brand but here you can put together the, the battery yourself so then you can uh, you choose uh, the battery uh, the charger also that is uh, what the battery supplier is, uh, is uh, delivering yeah so, Miss Fihle, yeah, so there is no thermal management here, but I don't think it will replicate because you're not going to pull one C continuous. Anyway, yeah, it's still nice and cold in here. But Bjorn, you see, is that the electric city ferry? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, 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 we get a good shot on it, yeah. And yeah, that looks electric. 
Yeah, the other was not electric, I saw earlier. It has some chimneys. This one doesn't have any chimneys. But you can also have even bigger batteries, right? If you need. Yeah, it's more space there. Or you can have an extra one here uh, as well if you need to go like uh, fishing all, uh, all day. Well, I'm just thinking you could hook this to a, a little solar roof or something. <laughs> but usually when you take a little break and you can charge it, at 1C, then within an hour you get uh, quite good range again. So, man, I like this. I like that it's so slick and quiet. Wow, and when you pull that thing, it actually pulls quite hard. Plenty of torque. It pulls like a ninja. Yeah. yeah so well, I mean, it's, it's, it's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, of course, Marshall needs to pull out this with a, a Model 3. Well, it was great to try something different than cars. Uh, everything is going electric nowadays. Yeah, also the toys are electric. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is a toy for you anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you want one? Uh, for fishing and trolling, the small speed and noise uh, sounds. I really like the electric and I also like the torque. So, but I think it's very early in the boat business. So I think in five years, then lots of will be electric there also. But now it's uh, uh, too, too expensive for regular use. If you're not going very, very, very slow, then you can, uh, it's not so. But if you want to go a little bit faster, then it's uh, expensive. Yeah. Well, at least now you guys seen it. Yeah. Boats are also getting more and more electric. Awesome. Anyway, I think that's going to be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.